Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Simplify. Today we're working through the two sum problem, clean and efficient way to solve this problem using a simple idea that you will see it over and over again in coding challenges. Let's get right into it. So here's the problem goes like this. You are given an array called num and you're given a number called target. So guarantee there are two different numbers in this array that will add up to the target. So your task is to find them and return their indices. For example, given this array and the target number 9, so you should return the, indices, the indices of 2 and 7, which is 0 and 1. So here's the idea. We go into this array and we're going to keep a dictionary called hashman. So that store the numbers we already seen along with their indices when we travel through the array. Why? Because for each number we looked at, we can always ask ourselves what number should we need to pair with this number to reach the target sum. So we call that number the complement. It's just a target number minus the current number we are visiting. So let's say we are at the current number 7 and the target is 9. So the complement of 7 is 2. So then we want to check in the dictionary. Have I seen this number 2 before in the dictionary? If yes, there's the answer. 2 and 7 are the two numbers that add up to 9. And we will return there in this is good is 0 and 1. If not, then we, st we store the number and we keep going. Let's head over to Python. Um, map. So we're going to loop through this array using enumerate a built-in Python function to retrieve the index of the number in, together with the number. So for the index and the number itself in the object enumerate of nums, we will calculate the potential complement. So and we save it into the complement variable complement you could tag it. Tag it minus num. So we calculate the complement by subtracting the current number from the target and save it into the complement variable. If the complement in the num map, we're going to ask, is this already in the dictionary or either yes or no? So if the complement already in the num, then the dictionary num map, we return that we found. And we just return the indices, the index of the complement and the index of the current number. So we return, let's say we return two indices. One is the current index and one is the indexes of the complement. Now, if the complement is an index dictionary, we need to store the current number with its indexes so we can use it later if needed. So, num map, we save it together with its index. The moment of truth, let's submit our solution to lead code.
boom accepted so that's our solution to the to some problem so this approach is powerful because it lets us find the answer as we look through without checking every pair of numbers the key is using the dictionary to remember what we see so anytime you're solving problems that ask about finding pairs or checking if something exists based on earlier values this pattern is worth remembering that's it for two some problem if this helped you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to lead code simplify for more tutorials like this one thanks for watching and keep practicing